I'm going to explain the principle of working with the rangefinder on a Linhof Technica camera. I've chosen a Super Technica 5 4x5 camera, the model before a Master Technica Classic, the current camera, and after a Mark IV. Um, the principle of the rangefinder coupling and working with the rangefinder doesn't change on any of those models. So here is the rangefinder. It sits down the side of the, side of the body and replaces the need to focus on your ground glass screen. As you look through the rangefinder, the images will converge vertically. Underneath the body, we have a single cam. And we cut this cam and we engrave it with the serial number of the lens. And in that way, this cam is matched also to the body. In this way, there is no more accurate way to focus using a rangefinder on a 5.4 camera. You can have as many cams of the, as you want. You can have them for 72, 80, 90, 150, 180, 210, etc. So a single cam, one cam per lens. What we do is we pop it in underneath the baseboard like so, running along the teeth, nice and secure. Before I push this track back, here we have what we call the cam follower. Underneath is a little wheel. When we push the track back like so, as we then pull the front standard forward, which I'm just going to do a little bit so that you can see what I'm explaining, the spring of this cam engages against the wheel of the cam follower. Therefore, as we then focus on the rangefinder, so the cam follower will run along the edge that we have cut and give you your accurate focus. It is as simple as that. So then we pull out the front standard to our infinity stops because what we do always need to know is where we start from. So with no bed extension, we would lock it off and bring the front standard out to those infinity stops without doing anything, without even focusing at all. We now know we are at infinity and we would simply focus forward from infinity. Of course, we set as many of these stops as required for your lenses. We just simply push them down and the, and the front stand will ride over them to your next set of stops. I should also point out that if you have existing large format lenses and you're purchasing a body or you've bought one used, then by having the body and your lenses, we can cut the cam to suit. Many people will still focus on the ground glass screen, but use the rangefinder to check the focus because once they've closed the lens down, they've lost contact with their subject. Alternatively, if you want to hand hold the camera, and it really is a very well balanced camera and quite capable of doing so, you would also need a composition. So your rangefinder is only replacing your focus. You need to replace the composition of the ground glass screen. And this viewfinder would sit on the top of the camera like so. And together, this and this negate the need of the ground glass screen totally. It works on a color code system and we follow this color code system through when we make the cam. So the engraving on the cam will be red, the infinity stops would be red if we were using a standard lens, and green for a long or yellow, black for a wide angle. So we dial in our focal length lens and using the same colored scale, we dial in our distance and that will correct for parallax and diminution of field. We can rotate the front mask from horizontal to vertical, depending on how we're shooting on the body. We can remove the mask and we can replace it with one that is for 6.7, six, 6.9 six, or 6.12. Six so let's pop that on the body there. And now we come to the grip. If you are going to hand hold the camera, I really recommend the grip. It just balances the whole system out. We've mounted the 150 lens on a recess panel because in that way it will close in the body. So again, a very fast way to operate. If you were going to know that you were going to be shooting at infinity, you simply just have to open the body, pull the front standard out to the infinity stops and you're there. Of course, a normal cable release has a thread 
and on the recess panels by Linhoff we have a whole quick release system here for easy access and therefore what we need to do is negate the thread on the cable release by adding this conical shaped piece of metal fondly known as the nipple to just negate the thread. In this way now when we cock the shutter and we put the cable release in it clicks in and will fire. 